How did Ken, how did documentary happen? So long came from Danielle. It posed it been oh it posed it been me, Skit, and Shamgar. She wanted to do Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. So when she seen me play, she just said she don't want to do. She just gonna follow me around. She don't want to follow me around. So that's how it came up. After she seen me play, she started following me around, bringing the cameras around, going to all the games, the blue parties we was having and stuff. So it was that. That was it. So she didn't want to see Sham God and nah. Even though they may have been nice to you. No, nah, they were nice to me. That's why she didn't want to see it. It posed me Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. I know they was come on, come on. How you know they was nice? Sham God was nice. I, yeah, he's Gosh, nice. They're not well. nicer than me, though. I ain't like, come on, come on, do it. Nah, son, I ain't doing it like that. I ain't, I'm for real. I'm just. Bug, bug, it was me, bug, yeah. I'm being for real. Bug. Son, he's good. They good. Skip good. Stephon Marbury good. Son, they not nice to me. Hmm. They not nice to me. What makes you better than them, though? What make me better than them? Good question. Like, everything. I put more dedicated in it. My moves. Because <laughs> my move is, is, is every, everything. Everything, okay. Yeah, it's like. Have you guarded them before? Like, you, 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 have you guarded Skip one-on-one -on -one before in the game? Like, have you, have you played him? Have you, have you yeah, high school. Shane we went in that high school. Yeah. They get busy. But they ain't booger. Yo, Booger, come on, stop they it. They ain't Booger. Booger, stop. They, nah. It's me, Booger. Don't do that. Nah. Don't do that, Booger. So I was throwing it between legs, his leg, my leg, wrapping them, all at this damn same time, man. Huh. Hmm. I was banging you with four moves, and psh, let it drop there, nigga. Psh, dunking that, huh. So, oh, <laughs> niggas be, nah. And they be psh, carrying, walking. Nah. That shit is off. Psh, let's go. And they both get busy, but they wasn't. They nah. was they ain't booger. Nah, I don't know about that book. Nah, a lot of people be saying they don't know about the but Ask them. <laughs> <laughs> you <can> ask them <laughs> themselves. <laughs> ask who? Them. Whoever. I'm, I'm skip. Ask skip when I see skip. Shame gone. Ask them. Those my people. They get busy, but ask them if you were. So they go. They're telling me that you were nicer than them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They all about yo. It's me, Biggie, and Jay Z. I'm the best in Brooklyn. Booger, Biggie, and Jay Z. What? Oh, <laughs> wow. Booger, Biggie, and Jay Z. Yo, 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 yo. I was Booger. Booger. Brooklyn Entertainment before Biggie Smalls, before Jay Z. I had Brooklyn going crazy. No, you didn't, Booger. Stop. Ah, ah, ah! I don't believe it. Talk your talk, Booger. Talk your talk. I don't think so, Booger. Nah, for real. So I said, what? I was leaving parks. When I go, they go. We going another game. We gonna meet you. Need a rap? <laughs> <laughs> so 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 how did you get in the Slam magazine? They came to on um, downtown. Wanted to interview me. Took me to Juniors and stuff. I was went to go talk to them. And just talk to Slam. And I just came home too. For, I what think I just came home. Hmm. What year you did slam? I for, um, what year was that? Oh nine. Yeah. Something like that. I just came. So home. hold on, you real quick before we get to slam, you was on the run. You went back because they they funneled you. you couldn't get no none of the tournaments. They 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 they, they you said f basketball came back to to Brooklyn. Yeah. But you was on the run for two years. Mm -hmm. Tell us the day they caught you. By LG. I was by LG coming out and I seen the lady, this lady owed me a stack. Boom. So she was from Fort Green, but I seen the bong. So when I pressed her like, what? and she seen me over there. So the, the next day, it was Saturday, I was going to the center to watch the basketball game. So I'm walking down the block. Man behind me like, yo, booger. Look, white man, booger. I said, yo, my name ain't Booger. Yo, that's messed up what happened in Fort Green yesterday, right? I said, yo, my name ain't Booger. So I'm keep walking down the train station. 88 precinct right there. Turn around again. 
I look down the block, the whole precinct coming. So I run down the train station. He thought I hopped on the booth and ran. You know, I ran around the corner. I was trying to come up the stairs over here. The lady like, no, he ran back up the stairs. The time I came up, the, them niggas, the other niggas, these was coming downstairs. Niggas threw me down. They yeah. tried. I had a beige North Face on, so I wasn't going down on the train on the floor. So psh, I got in the precinct, them niggas started clapping. Like, look who we caught. Boy, my and it was, it was over. Man. Was it rough for you up north? No. I ain't going to, like, people I know in jail. Like, I was going to niggas, my homies in them house. Because it's jail beef. Niggas be beefing in jail. And, and when you get in there, your man fight, you got to fight. You just can't sit there. And, so I went to Puerto Ricans' houses and niggas' houses. I don't got to help nobody fight. I just come in and do my time. I'm going home. Because everybody got beef in jail. Everybody want so, You did four years, right? Yeah. So I did that, playing ball, and that's it. When you so when you came home, you did slam. But but what I'm saying is that they said that they, oh, at one point you tried to get back into basketball, but you was out of shape. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. But when I went out of shape, when I went to go get back in shape, the guy who was giving me the job, he got different. He got a different job. So the coach who wanted me, he went to somewhere else. So then I, I just said, I'm ready for it. I just said, I just gave up. So you I quit again? Mm -hmm. Back to the streets? That's not good, bro. I don't know, but. You guys, how, what could, I want you, you know, because we, we're pulling it out of you. I want, what would you tell the, the kids, though? Like, because, you know, you had a chance to be, one of the greats. You know what I'm saying? They say treat like people know you. I mean we, we put a picture, they was like, yo, bro. But like, what would you tell like what lesson did you learn? Could you I say a lot. The kids you gotta just be focused. You gotta they, they gotta stay in school. They gotta stay in school. They gotta be focused. Don't be no follower. Be a leader. Cause you see somebody doing something, you don't you don't do it. You don't got to do it because he do it. You can stop, try to stop him from doing it, but he don't. You can't do nothing. But they got to stay in school, got to be focused and respect your elders. And and that's, and you and they'd be great. See, my problem, I was in, I ain't stay in school. I ain't like school. So that's what came to, that's why I was on the streets. I was dodging school. So it was it was I ain't, I ain't like school. I ain't like school. That's what fucked me up. If I'd have went to school, I could have had a better job than what I got now. Come on, I don't because you got niggas, you just need a job, you need a GED. I don't, I don't got none of that. No GED, no high school diploma. None of that. So Book, does it hurt you, bro? Do you ever get feel hurt like I messed up, but you don't look at life like that. Yeah, because I could have, you know, did more for the people around me, the people I love. And mm -hmm. so it's. Does it bother you at all, boy? Like, does it ever. Do you ever sometimes. Think mm -hmm. I can see it bother you, boy. Eyes getting watery, man. Damn, don't do me like that, boy. Don't, don't don't make me feel bad, man. What 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 is it more like you couldn't take care of, like the family? Like what 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 bother you mostly about that, boy? If you don't mind me asking. I can't take care of my family. But you chose the streets for because. Mm. You, but you can now, though. Yeah, yeah I'm doing it now. Yeah, so that's, that's job. What, that's what counts, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what counts. Hey. 
Mm. You know what's so crazy? You know, like, that's probably, like, pent-up emotion built inside for a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, like, do you do it bother you? Because you see your peers and everybody, like, pass you. Like, what bothers you the most about that? Like, what bothers you? Is it more the family? Like, yo, I messed up. Like, I made a decision. I didn't have guidance. Like, have you ever sat down and thought and put everything together, boys? Like, did you ever put everything together in your mind, like, of what might have messed you up? Did you ever put it, come together with it? Or you don't, like, you never thought about it like that? Do the family? It's, yeah, It's man. like... I can't do what I can do for my What I supposed to do. I supposed to make sure they are. I can't. And nobody wanted to help you. It was about basketball with them. That's all it was about. It was, like, it was just about basketball. They, mm -hmm. you, Because you said a line earlier, they use you until they can't use you anymore. You said that something like that earlier. Mm -hmm. You feel like they just wanted to use you for basketball. Nobody really cared about your. Did you feel like anybody cared? Did anybody you come across care about your well being? Cared about Booger? Cared about Ed? Did anybody care about you at all? Or everybody you came across was mostly to work you into basketball? That's it. Mostly, yeah. Nobody, you didn't mean nobody that, 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 that rocked with you at all. There's nobody you could say off your mind, like, you know what, Flip? You know what, G? This guy right here, he believed in Booger. He believed in. I got one guy, Keith. And he used to be, you know, coaching me and stuff. He always was trying to tell me, do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. And I never paid attention to him. Mm. Well, what was the reason you didn't pay attention, Booger? I was too focused with playing in these streets. Is it the fast money? Is it money? Is the is fast money the thing that got you? Like having fast money? It wasn't like the having fast money. It was that's the only way I could get money. I couldn't get a job. Only way you can eat. Cause you had no So so but but and, and G said this earlier, like it's like you kinda so I think that you didn't know how to so, because I read an article, or I heard something where somebody said that you were, Boogs might have been afraid of, not that you couldn't obtain success, you were afraid of the process to get success. Somebody said something like that. Was was that what it is? Like, the like not having the discipline, not being afraid to focus because you didn't have the discipline. Was the streets the easy way out for you? The streets was the easiest way out, if you think about mm -hmm. it. You know, because you sit here and you, and you shed in tears, and I could imagine... Do people have so much expectations of you? Like they said, like we wanted you to be something. Do they, do anybody ever say that to you? Do they rub that into your face, or you don't really hear yeah, something like that? I'm being honest. You don't be hearing that. They don't, yeah. play, they don't play. Ah, all right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But it's just it's just to you and your personal feelings. Mm -hmm. You watched it. What 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 makes you hurt the most? I mean, you say you can't take care of the family, but but do you watch basketball that bothers you? Do you see certain people that that triggers these emotions? Does anything trigger these emotions, or is just that what we are talking about it that trigger the emotions? So about it, and the, the, this is not that as people. It's just I ain't where I I supposed to be at. It's, it's not like I see it. I'm on TV. I see that. No, it's not. It's it's just I'm mad at myself. Mm. That's it. That's real though. I mean, I, I think that that's. You know, accountability is, is 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 definitely. You know, I respect anybody that take accountability for what what they uh, what they've been through. You know, what I'm saying because you could have pointed blame at everybody else, but you you taking accountability, you saying that you could have made a change and did things differently back then. So, gotta respect that. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. we gotta move forward and talk about what's what's going on now and 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 you know in the future and, and the positive aspect of it. You know, what I'm saying you've been working for three years now. You said. Mm -hmm. You could have still been in the same way if you were three, uh, you know, four years ago. Th things changing for the positive now, you know what I'm saying? So, d real quick, do you notice that uh, people like let's talk about the people real quick that that you played basketball with? Because you said when you was in Chicago, Steph just waved his hand at you. Let's talk about the people that you played basketball with, your peers. Did any of them turn their backs on, on you as well when you were coming up? Like you know, some people turn their back, act like they don't know you. 
Like, like, is it a cold world like that? Like, that's what mm-hmm. I want to understand. Like, mm-hmm. how cold does the world get, bro? It's just, nobody, nobody, they only care about, people only care about they self. When they go, like, be your man, they want to see you f- fucked up. They mad because they want to, they, they, people ain't like me because I've been busting people's ass and shit. They get mad over, oh, this nigga. Oh, he did selling all he on sports shit. Little shit like that. That shit wasn't that ain't mean shit to me. I want millions. That shit ain't even this little I ain't even mean nothing. Oh, he this, he this. Psh, psh, psh. And you and you hear people, damn, this nigga smile on your face and these these niggas will talk about you. So like in stolen old in the movies, some people saying negative stupid stuff about me. I was in there when they was filming, I said, this nigga, they really say that? But he in your in your face. Cause when she was filming, I wasn't around people. When I, I ain't know, I ain't looked at the movie until when I when I sat down and watched the movie. I said, man, people talking negative, like I'm homeless. My mom's kicked me out. It was ain't none of that shit. Well, where did they get that information from? I don't know. Are you saying that now because you're like there's no to. to but are, can you admit that you did have a did you have a rough relationship with your mother at one point? No, never had a rough relationship with your mom. Never I had. I respect beef. my moms. I respect my mom. I respect all ladies. I don't know. But you didn't listen though. You did admit earlier your flip. I didn't listen. Yeah, but my moms wasn't bunk telling me. It was like I was growing. It wasn't like she wasn't. I was. She wasn't sick. Cause she was outside. She was, yeah. she was doing her thing. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't nah. It wasn't nobody was on my back. Only one was is my grandmother. That's the only time she had to do stench cold, frying pans. That's it. That's why I went to Fort Rick. Get away from her. She was wilding. You can't have company. You can't go in the living room with your sh- sneakers on. She was strict. No. My grandma wasn't playing. How long you lived with grandma for? For a while. So I went to Fort Green when I was like, what? 15? You think things would be different if your uh, pops was around? No. Nope. Growing up? No, nope. because he was wild. And he look at him, he... I got other sisters and you no, know, he wasn't. He was drunk. He wasn't. It wasn't no. Cause he was over in Konyana. No, I never knew him till later. So if he was now, what I know, he wasn't now. Cause Larry, he wasn't. He wasn't doing good himself. Can you question, was mom on drugs? My mom's? No. Oh, she wasn't on drugs. No. Beer, oh. sweet. Shit like mom wasn't on drugs or nothing. But she was just outside. Like, she was, like, more, like, outside mingling. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you, like, basically raised yourself. Did you ever get mad at mom? Did you ever feel like mom wasn't paying that much attention? Did you ever get mad at her? No. Never was mad at mom? Because I was always outside. I was always outside when I walk. This is, I don't want to see her till I come back in the house. <laughs> so it wasn't, nope. And once I go outside, I'm in the morning, you don't see me till night time. It's coming for, you have to come look for me. You got kids, bud? Yeah, two daughters. How old? 124 and 128. Hmm. What's your relationship? What's your kids like now? The oldest one, I ain't been saying. I ain't saying on the net. My youngest one, tight. I got two grandkids too. Why you didn't see, Why you didn't see the oldest one? Cause me and mommy wasn't getting along, and and I was in denial, and I was young, like it was nine, uh, like I wasn't my kid. Oh. What's the last thing you've seen in the world? Years. A couple of years ago. How long? Four years ago. Was she 24? 
But you wasn't denying her then. Did you have an argument or something four years ago? It was... It's like, I'm ashamed because she's doing good what I did for her. Come on, boy. Don't start this, boy. Don't start getting emotional, boy. You're killing me, man. Hurting my heart, boy. You make, come on. No, oh, God. You killing she me. wanna see me. She grown. I miss everything. Graduation. So what, at the time, what were you doing at that time? Running the streets. You said that. You said you stopped running the street three years ago. At the time, what you mean? Like, like when, 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 like you said, four years ago was the last time you saw her. So did you have an argument or anything? Like was it was it bad? No, I no, I was like I seen the mother. And she was she was telling me yo go call her, buddy. I don't know what to say though. What made you deny her though, Buzz? What made you do the denial? I was young and she, she running playing the streets. It was you know I am fucking a baby. What am I do with a baby? We kids. That ain't my baby. So then, how long did how long did it take until you met the little girl? Not not long. It was I met brother. Then it just that was yeah. This is like that ain't my baby. I just. How much time you was in a part of her life, bud? None. At all? So what made you be part of the younger one's life and not the older one? Because I a- was with the old... I had... A, that was my girl. We was together. But the, the old... The other... My first one, we wasn't... It wasn't like that. I was with... I was cheating on... That wasn't my girl. So did the disdain for the did the did the the issues with the mother prevent you from seeing your daughter or you was like I don't really rock with her so I I I don't because she was running the street so I don't think that's my baby was it something like that yeah so yeah, when did was, you find out it was your baby she when she she was telling me it was my baby before it was coming up before she even had the baby but. My mom used to say, yo, that girl, she looks she look just like me. I have the forehead and everything. But I was just, it was, it was, she grown. It wasn't I wasn't there. She, she graduated from college. She, she's grown. Wait, and bro. I ain't do nothing. So what I supposed to say to her? Wait, boy, hold on. What I'm coming out life for? And I don't got shit to give up. But you could talk to her, boys. You could talk to her and try to communicate with her, man. She probably want to speak to you. You don't think she? Love, man. It's, not, it's not about the. It's not about the money. You, 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 know you don't think she want to speak to you, boys? No, I wouldn't want to speak to me. That's what I mean. Same thing like my pops. I don't want to speak to him. He wasn't there. Got to change the cycle now, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to change the cycle now. It's just, just change, change the cycle. It's just change, change the cycle right now. Ain't too late. I don't think it's too late, bro. Did you try at all, bro? You got to be honest. Bro. Did you try? You didn't try at all, bro? Well, I got to get at you, man. I, 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 Bugs, come on. You, you, said, you, you said you got nothing to offer. You said, I know. But, you know, I, I think, I think you know. G, come on, G. He, come on, Bugs, man. And the mother like, yo, she don't want, she don't need nothing. You have a number? When's the last time you saw her mother? Like a couple years ago. Did you ever meet your daughter? Did you ever speak to her? So how did you meet her? I met her before. I met her, I can't remember before. We was like, I had a, and when she was in Marcy, that was a long time ago. What did you say to her? Tell us the encounter. I ain't, I ain't, I said I was going to come see her. I never went. Oh.
What were you doing in Marcy, bug? I'll be out there too. Were you hustling? Mm, no, no, I wasn't hustling in Marcy. So you were just over there. And how did you see her? Can you, do you remember that day you saw her? Or you don't remember that day? Nope. Tell us the last time you saw her. Bring us to that day. With my daughter? Yes. I don't remember. Yes. I seen the mother. The mother, just, yo, she wanted to see you. She gave me the number. I lost the number. It was in my other phone. I lost it. It was just, I don't know what to tell her. If she listening right now, what do you want to tell her right now? Like, what would you want to say to her? Being that it's hard for you to, you know, to, to, to maybe get on the phone or see her in person. But, you know, like right now on this platform, you know, a lot of people watch the show. Somebody that probably knows her is going to probably forward her the video. You know, like, what would you want to say to her right now on camera? I love her. I miss you. I would love to see you. And I'm sorry. That's real. Your bugs, you breaking my heart, man. My bad, my duck. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking my heart, but he should be strong. Come on, man. What's her name? You know her name? What's her name? Karen. Karen. She has your last name or her mom's last name? I think her mom's. And what part of Brooklyn is Karen from? They from Marcy. Karen from Marcy. I think that, you know, like G Money said, man, you got to break the cycle, Bugs. You you know, you, you're you going to be beating yourself up to death. You gonna be because we, it's, it's it's hurting you. You shedding tears, and it, it, we could tell it bother you because you know we have the capability of opening up the minds. But you gotta break the cycle, boys. You have to. You may be watching you on, on live. You know, even with one or two people watching, you making the people around you laugh and you enjoying yourself. Maybe she wants to feel that. You can't depress. You know, it's never too late. It's never too late to say sorry. I'm saying I think that you hard on yourself, and I think that you, the reason why you hard on yourself is because you attribute or contribute or you take away from the mistakes that you made in basketball, and you and you and you put it into your real life, your relationship. Like, uh, nobody did nothing for me, and you know nobody checked for me, and I still had to make it. And you probably feel the same way about her. I didn't check for her, and she still made it. You know. She still did what she did. Nobody came back and checked for you. Did anybody come back and check for you? You got to break that cycle, like G Money said. On the bass switches. You gotta, you gotta, you. Gotta. Bass, I text, bass, what you texting us, man? He just texted us something with, <laughs> yo, yo, Basco, you can't text me. Why would you look? What you just text Jack Nicholson face? Why would, why would you text that? You know, we talking to bugs here, man. You bugged out. Nah, we got to have a meeting. You can't do that, bro. Great work, <laughs> Why he texted that face? That threw me off. Oh, that's crazy, you. bro. So what I'm saying is that you got to break the cycle, man. You know, shout out to Karen. Hopefully, you know, a lot of people see this. I would love for you and Karen to get together because it's hurting you. But, boy, you got to break the cycle. As as a brother, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you can't beat yourself up, man. Like, you getting older. You know, it happened already, bro. I got to be real, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, out of love, I'm going to tell you, like, you got to let that, you got to let it go. Meaning, like, of what you could have been and stuff, you got to let it go and make new memories. That That is weighing you down, bro. Out of love, I'm telling you, I can just tell, bro, like, since earlier you was talking, your eyes started getting watered. You got you to gotta let it go. It happened, bro. And that's love. Like, it happened. Like, I feel bad for you. You're making me sad. It It, it, it happened. Can't go back to it. Got to try to do something and get up with these programs and teach these kids and, and make another booger and tell them what to do different. Not make them go down your path. You got to be a leader because you got the capability of it. You funny, you charismatic, and you cool. You got positive. You got to let that go, bugs. It's, it's killing you, bro. And that's love I'm telling you. Like I can see it, bro. It's eating you. It's going to keep eating you inside. Got to come to a realization. Like, it happened. You didn't have the guidance. You didn't have nobody there, but you here to talk to us now. You here to make us smile. You make the you here now. You here on flip the script. That's God working. God let it go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real talk. Come on, Dunn. Give me a pass, Dunn. You gotta let it go, Dunn. Come on, Dunn. <laughs> Come on, Dunn. Come on, you gotta let that go, bro. You gotta let that go, bro. Come on, Dunn, Dunn. You gotta let that go, bro. I know, man. All to the side, bro. Come on, Dunn.
that, man. Don't let it go, man. You got to treat the kids. You got to show the kids and tell them, you got to let it go. I know it hurts you, bro. They talk about you. You got to let that go. You got to teach them now, man. You got to school the youth, and, and there's a lot of programs that and teach the kids of, of how you did your moves. It's a lot of programs, and a lot of us, man. You got G Money, you got myself. You got to let it go, man. Take a seat, Paul. I just had to give you a hug, man. Thanks for that. Paul, you done.